Say a good morning, Mount Olive. Good morning. We're not going to prolong any time this morning. We pray that everybody had a good week. And by you being here, that tells me you had a good week. Because this old week had a number in it and somebody gone. Huh? I think everybody can raise their hand on Red Nine and realize that somebody they knew gone. So God has done marvelous things in our life, another blessing by letting us see another Sunday. That's enough to say thank you. And if y'all don't mind a little bit, uh, male choir, since we got you here, I ain't had you with me in a long time. Y'all don't mind, do you? Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Have to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. So I know that Jesus, Jesus, He will fix it after a while. A trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. Well, that's all right. That's all right. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, come on, y'all. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, anybody know He'll fix it this morning? I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know He'll fix it. Jesus. I know he'll fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. He fixed it for me. Jesus, he will fix it. Then he fixed it for you. Jesus, he Hang will up. fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. 
I know Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. My Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. My, my Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. My, my Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. My, my Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it. I don't know about you, Jesus, he will fix it. I don't know about you, Jesus, he will fix it. I know what he done for me, Jesus. Oh, Catherine, Jesus, he will fix it. He hung there, Jesus, he will fix it. Bled and died, Jesus, he will fix it. But early was Sunday, Jesus, he will fix it. Sunday morning, Jesus, he will fix it. He kind of went home, Jesus, he will fix it. Oh, power, Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Say so I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. I know that Jesus. Jesus. I know that Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it after a while. After a while. How many of you know that he'll fix it for you? While all this pandemic been going on, he's been fixing it for you. With everything that's going on in this old world, he's still been fixing it for you. Because see, you're still here amongst the living so that tell me that Jesus been fixing it for you. I know he'll fix it. I'm not talking about what my grandmama told me. I'm not talking about what my mama told me. I'm talking about what I know about myself. Lord have mercy. I, I know he'll fix it for you. Father God, we come now with open hearts and open minds. Father God, we come thanking you for just another day. First of all, Father God, we want to thank you for our lying down on last night, Father. Then our rising this morning. Because, Father God, we realized that we didn't do everything we were supposed to do on yesterday, Father. But you saw our fit to let our golden moments roll on a little while longer. And for that, Lord Jesus, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for just looking after us the whole week long. Now, Father God, as we come to this worship service, Father, we pray now that you let it be pleasing in most of all your sight, Father God. Everything that's done here today, Father God, we ask that you let it be pleasing in your sight. We ask that you let the man that's going to bring the words, Father God, let him bring a word that's pleasing from on high. Let it be able to tickle our ears to make us think about our lives, Father God. The way our lives are going and the way things are doing, Father God. Father, now we want to pray for this old country of ours, Father. Asking that you start to touch the hearts of man a little bit more, Father God. Because we got to get to the point where we show more love than we do hate, Father God. Right now we're killing much too much of one another, Father God. We don't worry about the white man killing us, Father. But it looks like we're killing ourselves, Father God. As he touched these young men, Father God, and show them that there's a better way, Lord Jesus. And the way is you, Father God. Let them know if they look to you, Father God, and we all need to look to you for the, for, look to the hills, for which the hills come for all our help. Because our help comes from you, Father God. We know you can do anything but fail, Lord Jesus. Now, Father God, we pray that you continue to bless us all and keep us in this pandemic old world, Father God. Father God, we know that we, if we trust in you, believe in you, hope in you, and just continue to love you and do as you told us to do, Father, we know that everything is going to be all right. Now, Father God, we pray that you continue just to bless us all and keep us. For it's in your precious Son, Jesus' name, this morning. Amen. 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 Now we're going to turn over to the choir for uh, selection.
good to you this morning? Did he wake you up? Did you have food on your table? We want to tell you like this. Come on, my brother. Sing this song, man. Lord, I know you've been so good. Mm -hmm. You've been so good. When I got up out of my bed, so good. Oh, Lord, so good to me. When you woke me up this morning, I was closing my right mind. You didn't let me sleep too late, no, no, but you woke me right on time. Lord, I know you've been so good. have to do what you did when you died for my sin it might not mean much to some but you did it for everyone Lord you've been so good oh Lord you've been so Back over my life, you've been so, so good. Oh Lord, so good to me. Here's another way. Every time I down the line, you took me time after time. Every time I I turn around, Lord, I realize that I'm still alive. Lord, you've been so good. Good God Almighty, you've been so good. When I got up this morning, so good. Lord, how you kept your loving arm all around me. So good. You didn't let them angel hunt me. So good. I had food on my table. So good, clothes on my back. So good, had my help and strength, y'all. So good, I could act for nothing more than that. So, so good, Jesus died. So good, all of my sins. So. So 
Good morning, Mount Olive. The gospel will be preached. The sick will be prayed for. The invitation will be extended. These are our morning announcements. Price Road Community Baptist Church ce celebrates Reverend Artist and Sister Stringer fourth year anniversary this afternoon at 2 p.m. Please come out and support. Blessings on your birthday and anniversary for the month of June. This beautiful diva will be celebrating her birthday on Monday. Help me wish Sister Lakeisha Shell Caldwell a blessed birthday. Happy birthday. We are here. Parents Michael and Lauren Richmond wel welcomes beautiful twins, Ryan Miles and Riley Sarah. You have been blessed twice by the Almighty. Congratulations on welcoming two healthy twins. Congratulations. These are our morning announcements. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, please remember to keep our sick and shut-ins, whoever's requesting special prayers, from the altar lifted in our prayers. These are our morning announcements. Amen. We ask that you wish everybody a happy birthday that you come in contact with today, that you know that's their birthday. Uh, you've been so good. So good to me. It seems like we've been mighty quiet on him. But he's been so good to us. So good to me. We're going to be blessed now with another song from the choir. Y'all, let's see if we put a little something in it this time. And, huh? It, I know it's fourth Sunday, but it is Sunday. Amen. And it is another day that God has blessed us with. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Yes, sir. So good. So good, so good to me. We're going to stick with being good. All right. God goodness to all of us. Yeah. I want to ask you a question now. Do you ever stop and look back over your life? Yes, sir. Come on, son. See how good God has been to you. Yes, sir. Has he ever come into your room and moved your aches and pains? I'm sure somebody sitting down there will agree with me when I look to heaven and say these words. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Eh. Reason I want to thank you, Jesus. Lord, I know you've been so good. Lord, I know you've been so good. You watch over me all night, all night. I've been wrong in my life, and sometimes I've even seen. Yes, but Lord, I, I thank you for waking me this morning and letting me kneel down to pray again. I could have been dead, yes, sleeping in my grave, but you made a left away on, this morning and made it behave. You've been good. You've been good. 
thank you, Lord. You've been good. Jesus. You've been good. Oh, you've been mighty nice. You've been good. You've been good. I know you have. You've been good. I know you've been so good. We all can look around this morning and say, Lord, I know you spared my life. Lord, I know you spared my life. You see, I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. But oh, Lord, Lord, I know you spared my somebody life. Somebody sitting out there this morning can say, Jesus. You've been my mother, and Lord, you've been my father, too. Out of all the troubles and trials I've had in my life, yes, without you, Lord, I don't know what I would do. I, that's why I got my hand in the winding chain. Every day of my life, I'm trusting in your name. You've been good. You've been good. Thank you, Lord. You've been good. Jesus, you've been good. Oh, I feel pretty good. You've been good. Can I call? You've, you've been good. I want to talk to the Lord. You've been good. Jesus, you've been good. You've been good. You've been good. Somebody right here. You've been good. Know the Lord's good. You've been good. Somebody right here. You've been good. Know the Lord's good. You've been good. Somebody right here. You've been good. Ain't got nobody. You've been good. Nobody but Jesus. You've been good. Nobody but Jesus. You've been good. And when you wake, you've been good. When you wake it dark, you've been good. All you have to do, you've been good. Is call on his name, you've been good. Somebody right here, you've been good. Know how to call him, you've been good. Somebody right here, you've been good. Know he's a way maker, you've been good. Somebody right here, you've been good. Know he's a burden bearer, you've been good. Somebody right here, you've been good. Know he's been a doctor, you've been good. When you was on your sick bed, you've been good. all you got to do you've been good. is raise your hand, you've been good. look toward heaven. You've been good. Lord, I know you've been with me you've been good. through the storm and rain. You've been good. Every time I need you, you've been Lord, good. just hold my hand. You've been good. Ah, thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You've been good to me. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me thank you. I thank you, Jesus. While I'm still able, you've been good to I want to thank the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. While the blood is warm, you've been good. Somebody here, I thank you, Jesus. Know the Lord's good, you've been good. Somebody right here, I thank you, Jesus. Know the Lord's good, you've been good. When you were sick, I thank you, Jesus. Laying on your sick bed, you've been good to me. The doctor, I thank you, Jesus. Done all they could do, you've been good to me. And you Call on the one and only doctor, and he healed your body. I thank you, Jesus. Yes, he did. You've been good to me, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you've been good to me. That ain't all. I thank you, Jesus. That ain't all. You've been good. That ain't all. I thank you, Jesus. That the Lord's done. You've been good. He's been bread. I thank you, Jesus. On a table. You've been good. He's been a ladder. I thank you, Jesus. When our mountains. You've been good. You've been a bridge you, over troubled water. You've been good. You've been a friend you, in a lonely hour you, when you, I'm all by myself. I thank you, Jesus. Ain't got nobody to call on. You've been good. I say, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Good God Almighty, y'all. You've been good. I say, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. And He'll answer me you been good when you call Him. I thank you, Jesus. When you call Him. You've been good. Wait a minute. I thank you, Jesus. Wait a minute. You've been good. I need. I thank you, Jesus. One witness. You've been good to me. I need. I thank you, Jesus. Just one witness. You've been good. To that me. can tell you. I thank you, Jesus. How good God has been. You've been good. All of us can tell. Him. I thank you, Jesus. All of us got a testimony. You've been good to me. Tom, I, I thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand. You've been good. Ain't he been good? I thank you, Jesus. I know he's been good. You've been good to me. Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You've been good to Sister me. Sister King. I thank you, Jesus. Ain't he been good? You've been good to me. Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You've been good to me. Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You've been good to me. Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus. You've been good to me. You've been good to me. Say it again. I thank you, 
of God. So do anybody sitting up in here know anything about the goodness of God? Oh, come on, y'all. I, I, I ain't playing this morning. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God Almighty. Won't he make a way somehow? Won't he put food on your table? Yeah. <laughs> Won't he be a doctor in a sick room? Yeah. Won't he be a lawyer in a cold room? Hey! Good God Almighty here. Yeah, yeah. mercy. Lord have mercy. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. Look how bad God is. He woke all of us up this morning. Started us on our way. I ain't got but one prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Good God Almighty. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Father, we come, we come this morning. We thank you. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for your awesomeness. We thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. God, we can't do it without you. But with you, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And for that, sir, we want to say much obliged. Oh, God, we honor you today. We show adoration. We show gratitude and thankfulness unto thee, oh, God, for your righteousness. So as we stand in your righteousness, we want to say thank you, Lord. Pray, God, that your people be edified and then you glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you glad to be in church today? Amen. Amen. Hope that you all had a, a wonderful week. Hope that it hadn't been too tiresome for you. 
Amen. But you know what? I don't care how tired we get through the week, how tired we are. We go to them jobs, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't let nothing stop us from going to them jobs. So I pray that you're in here this morning and that you are, we are in the presence of God. Amen. So we can't do it on our own. It has to be done by the Holy Spirit. And so we're thankful today. Thank you, uh, Reverend Weeks, for getting things started for me. Good to see you, Reverend Moffitt. Amen. Uh, amen. To all of you, to my wife, to all of us who make up this congregation. It's good to be here. This may, of course, showing out this morning, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Good to see you, Brother Bates and the usher. Well, usher holding down the door. I won't say ushers, but we got it. All right. Sometimes it's, sometime it's just you and God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise to be unto our God. Just good to see all of you. I'm glad to be in the house of God one more time. I want to call your attention to a very familiar passage of Scripture. So familiar, you may not need to turn your Bibles to it, but if you want to, you can. John 3, 16. Very familiar. So familiar, I pray that you don't tune me out. You can't talk enough about love. That's what we've been talking about. We can't talk enough about love. Verses 16 and 17. Can I be For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have what? Everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through who? Him might be saved. Amen. You got to go through Jesus. Uh, amen. You got to go through Jesus. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good to see all of our young folks here this morning. God bless you. Amen. Let's clap it up for the young folk. Yeah. Uh, God bless you, musicians. I want to use for a thought, for a subject. Here it is. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. That's all right. That's, it seems as if God is saying that. Uh, I, I had a dream the other night that I was, yes, I had a dream. I was in, not in this church, but I was somewhere in a big city. Uh, a lot of people there. And, uh, and I was called on to, to preach uh, uh, at the spur of the moment. And, uh, you know, I'm just sitting back, relaxed, chillaxing. And I was called on. good preacher that you always have something you can go to because you never know when you're going to be called on. And when I stood to take my text, I went to John 3.16. And uh, I used for a thought, a text, uh, the miraculous love of God. And then I told my wife, I had a dream that I preached from that text. I said, you know, all week, you, you know, you got to be rambling. You got to be studying and trying to find yourself something, talking to God. Lord, what, what, what would you have me to tell your people this week, you know, with all of the busyness and what have you? Then I said, that must be it. I'm, I'm coming from John 3.16. <laughs> but oh, what a text. And I thought about uh, Pastor Emeritus John Sam. And as I began to read it and uh, to meditate on it, I said, that's what God is saying. I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. See what I'm saying? I love you and ain't nothing you can do about it. My brothers and sisters, John 3.16 has been called the gospel in a nutshell. The golden text of the word of God. It defies our understanding and what you think about anything. It defies our understanding for it talks of a God who loves people even though they don't love him. 
this world and planet that turns on its axis and swings in its orbit is composed of a class of people that God loves. Amen. Now, this love of God that he has for his people and the idea of God loves the whole world is perhaps a new idea or a new kind of thinking to some people because the Jews believed God loved the religious. In other words, the true Jew and hated the non-religious who were the Gentiles. Am I with me? The same thoughts are held by many in every generation, especially by the religionists. The fact that God truly loves is shocking to so many people. And some wonder and question how God could possibly love the murderer. How can God love the wife beater? How can God love the thief and the alcoholic? Somebody say amen. amen. Yeah, how, how can God love the foster to, the bitter, and the vengeful people of this world? You better believe God loves every man. Not, the, not just the religious and the good, but he does not love only the people who love him. He loves everyone. God Almighty. That's the kind of God we serve. He loves everyone. Now, you may not love everyone, but because of who God is, you remember now, God is love. Romans chapter 10, 12 and 13. For there is no difference between the Jew huh, and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon, whosoever, let me say that again, for whosoever, that prostitute, that murderer, for whosoever, good God Almighty, call upon the name of the Lord, what? Shall be saved as much as you dislike them or hate them. God still loves them. Now, he hates the sin, but he loves the person. He loves the person. No matter how vile and vicious they are, he still loves them. Because the basis of God's love is his nature. See, God is love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. For he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is, that is, is in, in scripture, is love. See? See? He is love. He is love. Therefore, he, he loves. He acts. He demonstrates and shows his love. Now, do we show our love one for another? Sometimes I believe we can have a funny way of showing our love one to another. None of us are exempt. I mean, we don't, don't, don't set up in here like some, we, you know, we got it all together and that we do it all right all the time. No, sometimes we got a funny way of showing our love. Amen. Now I got a witness here. Amen. Oh, here it is. This, this is how God showed. Romans 5 and 8. Look what he did. Romans 5 and 8. But God commended his love. Look what he did. Toward who? Us. In that, while we were what? He, what did he do? He died for us. He died. I'm oh, Lord, I'm glad he died for me. Can I make it personal? A sinner, a wretch undone. He died for me. So in other words, love has to do this. Love acts. It expresses itself. Didn't he do it? Didn't he express it on the cross? Love does not sit still. Love does not just sit around and do nothing. It's not dormant. It's not complacent. It's not inactive. If love actually exists, and it does, it has to act and express itself. 
it has to do something good. Wow. Teach my calling. It has to do something good. See? Love is loving. That is love is always demonstrating love to others. Therefore, God's love acts and reveals him to be love. God wants every man to know his love. He wants to reach everyone in the world with his love. And when we look at that verse, we can see the genuineness of, and the greatness of God's love in verse 16. We see the height of his love, God love. We see the depth of his love, so love. We see the length of his love, God gave. And we see the breadth of his love, whosoever, God Almighty. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm one of those whosoever. Do I have any whosoever's up in here? <laughs> Are you one of those whosoever? Yeah, yeah. If it had not been for God and what he did in your life, when you had a desire and God fixed his soul for you to come to him just as you were, whatever you were, we'll X something. We'll X something. We'll X, you know, and every now and then we try to put the X back in there, you know, so to speak. But if it had not been for God, Fixing it through Jesus, the atoning work that he did on the cross. That's what we ought to be thankful for. What he did on the cross. It's as if God is saying, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes. There's evidence of God's love. God gave his only begotten son. God demonstrated his love. In the most perfect way possible. He gave his only begotten son. As God he is perfect. Which means his love is perfect. Therefore God not only loves. But he so loved. God had to be in love with us. He not only loved the world. But he so loved. Wow. When, when was the last time we told somebody. I, not, not only I love you. But I, I so love you. We're not used to saying that all. I, I, I just, I so love you. <laughs> if we say it at all. See? God said, he so loved the world. See? He loves to perfection. Loves to the ultimate degree. Whatever the ultimate degree and the perfect act and, and expression of love is, God shows it. Without question, he shows it. When did he show it? He woke me up this morning. I had a portion of my health and strength. See? I had something to eat. I had a little something to eat if I wanted to eat. See? Had the activities of my limbs. I know you don't understand that, young folks, something to eat. See? Activities of my limbs, blood running warm in my veins. His grace and his mercy. Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes, God sacrificed the life. Of his own son to save you and me. Ooh, that's some kind of love, isn't it? That's some kind of love. And, and I like how John puts it in chapter 15, verse 13. Look, greater love. Look at that. Have no man than this. What is this? That a man lay down his life for his friend. Yeah, the word gave. Has twofold meaning. God gave his son to the world. He gave his son to die. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Good God Almighty. He gave his son to die. Not for himself, but for you and me. Amen. So the idea of this sacrifice of great loss see, is in both acts. It cost God dearly to give up his son to the world and up to the cross. Yeah. He gave up his son to be separated from himself. Allowing Jesus to love and to leave his presence. Uh -huh. To leave the majesty of heaven. Yeah. Oh yes, he gave up his son to be separated from him. Uh -huh. Allowing Jesus to come to the earth and to a world that was fallen. 
a world that was wicked, a world that is full of darkness, a world full of hostility. Ain't that the kind of world we live in? A world full of selfishness, greed, and shame. That's the kind of world we are living in. See? That's it. They don't need to paint no pretty picture about it. You know, land of the free, home of the brave. You know, God bless America. Yes. But in this world, you got everything that could possibly be wrong, wrong. But thanks be unto God that he sent Jesus, God Almighty, the light of the world, to give us a different perspective on life. That even when you and me are going through our trials and our tribulation and our sicknesses, we got somebody who cares enough about us. All we have to do is just believe. We got to believe. See. The only thing that stands between us and God is our unbelief. And whenever we don't believe, God Almighty, come on, Holy Spirit. Whenever we don't believe, then you're separating yourself from God. See, the Bible says without faith it is impossible to please him. See, that's the word of God, see. Yes, he gave up his son. To be separated from him. Come, come on Isaiah. Isaiah 53 and 5. Look, look at that. Y'all know it. Look here. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our what? Iniquities. Our sins. The chastisement. Our peace was upon him. And with his stripes. We are what? Healed. You got to believe that. See. Not only know it. You can read it. But you got to believe it. It's not enough just to read it. You got to believe it because testing time comes to us all. Sickness comes to us all in one form or fashion. But you got to know with his stripes, I'm healed. Yes, I may be sick down in my body. It's, I know what the doctor said about cancer, but with his stripes, I'm healed. With the prognosis and the diagnosis of the doctor, yes, I know what he said. But with his stripes, I am healed. And then you got to go on and live like you're healed. Don't get somewhere in a corner. Don't, don't paint yourself in a corner and sit down and wait on the paint to dry. Get up and do something. See, come on and give God praise. No, no. Isaiah 53 and 6. As we like sheep have gone astray, we've turned everyone to his own and the Lord... Uh -huh, have laid on him the iniquity of us all. See? But with his stripe, I'm healed. May not be feeling the very best, perhaps this morning, some of you. But with his stripes, I'm healed. That's, that's what excites God. Even when you can praise him in a dilemma, when you praise God in a pandemic, Ooh, Lord have mercy. When you can go against the grain and still give God praise, you may find yourself limping in. That's all right. Limp on praise. Have I got a witness here? Maybe feeling weak in your body. But come on and give God praise. One thing about the body, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. In other words, this old body of ours deteriorates day by day. It ages day by day. Teeth fall out, hair gray, eyesight get a little dimmer, yes, footsteps get a little shorter. Yes, but the spirit is still young. All right. All right. So sometimes you got to do it even if you don't feel like doing it. Have I got a witness here? Oh yes. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, we must understand this most glorious evidence of God's love is that God took the initiative to save man. Oh yes, man did not seek to save himself. God sought to save him. God gave his son so that we might be forgiven and saved. God is in the seeking savior. God is not angry, unloving, or unforgiving. God does not hate men. 
or have to be persuaded to love you and me or have to be convinced to forgive men. He will do that. We don't have to convince God to do that. God will forgive. First John 1 and 9, he's faithful and just to forgive those. Uh-huh, yeah, you got it. But we got to confess our sin. See, there's something we got to do. Just can't assume God is going to do it. He's going to love us, yes. But with the sin, we got to confess. In other words, we got to repent. Not repeat, but we got to repent. <laughs> Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters. This is the purpose of God's love. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him we might be saved. Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes, this is the proof of God's love and the incarnation that Jesus had to come and be born like all other men's were. Had to be born from a woman. Yes, that's the flesh part. But the spiritual nature of God, he's still Jesus. In other words, God sent himself through his son, Jesus, to this world that we might be reconciled back to him. Have I got me a witness here? Oh, yes, that's the means of salvation. Yes, salvation is through him, Jesus Christ, and through him alone. Have I got me a witness here? I guess I'll go ahead, Reverend, and tune up a little bit. It's not about the tuning up. I understand that. Don't get it twisted. It's not about that. But it's all about the teaching. Have I got a witness here? But yes, when you come on down to your clothes, it's all right to celebrate a little bit. Have I got me a witness here? Because when I think about the goodness of God and all he's done for me, my Lord, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I got a witness here. I'm so glad that I know this man, this man called Jesus. I have I got me a witness here. Won't it be a burden bearer, a heavy load sharer? I got a witness here. He'll be a bright and morning star. Yes, my Lord. And I'm so glad. Yes, he died for me. I got a witness him. He died until the sun refused to shine. Have I got a witness him? He died until the centurion said, Surely this must be the Son of God. Yes, my Lord. And I got to keep on telling men and women, boys and girls, about this love of God. I got a witness here. This love is a perfect love. Y'all don't hear me. This love outshines the natural sun. This love goes beyond and above the call of duty in your life and mine. I got a witness here. In other words, he's telling you and me today, I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Uh, have I got me a witness here? Y'all come on, let's ride now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm out of here. Y'all don't hear me. That was on Friday. But on Sunday morning, he rose, got up out of the grave. Yes, he did. Then he get up in your life. Yes, my Lord. And I got to tell many women, boys and girls, that he lives. Yes, he does. He lives, yeah, in my heart. He lives, yeah, in my soul, I tell you. Yeah, he lives, I tell you. Do he live in your life? Did he get up in your life? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Got up out of the grave and said, oh, power. Come on, y'all help me here. 
heaven and earth is in my hand. I love you. It ain't nothing you can do about it. So we'll keep on doing what we want to do and how we want to do it. But don't take advantage of God's love because one day Jesus is coming back. He's not coming back to save the world. He's already done that. But he's coming as a judge. Have I got a witness here? And I'm wondering, will he find faith when he comes again? And I'm wondering here this morning, are you faithful under God? Yes, we try to be faithful to each other. And we try to please each other. But you better find yourself Real quick, like being faithful unto God. Because one day we got to all stand before Him. And we got to stand on the scales of eternity and time. And I'm wondering here this morning will all your good days outweigh your bad days? Have I got a witness here? And I don't know about y'all, but I'm striving, trying to do my level best, trying to please the Lord, because he's worthy. Anybody in here know that he's worthy? He's worthy. I know he is. He's worthy. Come on, let's usher in the spirit. He's worthy. To be praised, yeah. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Pity my, my every groan. Yes, my Lord. When I think about the goodness of the Lord and all He's done for me, my soul. Good God Almighty, here. Yeah. My soul cried out, hallelujah. Anybody got a hallelujah in your spirit? Oh, yeah. That's your war cry. You, you do it for yourself. Don't worry about nobody else now. Think about you think about where God has brought you from. Don't, don't, don't look to your left or right, but... Oh, yeah. Just testify. You made good to me. You made ways for me. Turn things around for me. And I just want to thank you, Lord. Is there anybody in here? Want to thank the Lord. You got something to be thankful for. You got something to give God praise for. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had some help here. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. Do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him? Tell the Lord, thank you. I don't know. 
loving, my loving. I ain't gonna get too close. I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. This is my testimony. I love him, I love him. Do you love him? Do you love him? What about over here? Do you love him? What about right here? Do you love him? What about on this side? Do you love him? Hallelujah. 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 You got to get beside yourself. You got to come away from your pride and all of your intellect and all of your arrogance. And you got to come to God as humble as you know how to come to him. Sometimes you got to bow down. Don't care where you are. You got to bow down. Tell the Lord, I'm sorry. When was the last time you told the Lord that? I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, you brought me through this pandemic. Over 600,000 folks gone on. But here I am, Jesus. By your grace. And your mercy, Lord. Nobody but you, Jesus. My suit ain't too clean for me to bow down. How I got to win this hair. I ain't too sharp to bow down in front of you sweet people. Because I know one day, preachers, we got to stand before God for ourselves. How I got to win this hair. And give an account of our stewardship. Did we tell the people about Jesus, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, and the second coming of Christ? Y'all don't hear me. He's saying, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Yes, Lord. That's what he's saying. Coming through the pandemic, it has really awakened me. Really allowed me to see life differently. Amen. You know, it's been a change. I realize I could have been in that number. Yes, Lord. But God is not through with me and you yet. He's not through. Our purpose has not been fulfilled. That's the only reason why. There's a purpose for you and I. And thanks be unto God that he's still working on me. And he's working on you. Still trying to bring us to, into the image of God. That's what it's all about. Coming into the image of God. That's why it can't be about you. It has to be about Jesus. See? Y'all get ready to say. It has to be about him. He's trying to make me more and more like him. And you can't be more and more like him if you're hateful, if you're prideful, Amen. if you're too mean, if you're too arrogant, Amen. you're not speaking to folks. You're not loving, you're not caring, you're not giving, you're not committing yourself. That's not, that's not coming into the image of God. So let the record show. On this day, I told you about a man who loves you. Amen. God's only begotten son, Jesus Christ. This is my Lord. Come on. Lord, the church is open.
trustee ministry, music ministry, choir ministry. Thank all of you sweet people in this congregation. Amen. For lending me your attention. I hope that I help you this morning. Just meditate on that. Meditate on that. Now, let me say this real quick. I know we're past the hour. Uh, next Sunday, uh, we know uh, is 4th of July. Amen. 4th of July and everything. And so, for those that will, you know, come You'll have time to do what you're going to do for the fourth. Just come, come on to church. Amen? Amen? Come on to church. Amen. 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 What we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do black and white, but we're going to represent with red, white, and blue. So you black and white it, and then accent it with red, white, and blue. Do something, okay? That's what we're going to do. Let's do that next week. Fourth of July, okay? Can you do that? You didn't catch it. So, okay, first Sunday. First Sunday is the 4th of July. Sunday is on the 4th. So we're going to do black and white, white top, black bottom. But at the same time, if you want to accent it with a little red, white, or blue, for 
4th of July, we'll do that. Okay? Y'all got me? Let's do that. All right. All right. Glad to have my wife with me today. Amen. 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 God bless you. All right. Let us pray. Uh, Before I do a good class this morning, the men, uh, Brother Adam taught a good class, and I'm sure ladies, you had a good class. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Come on out. Encourage us to come to Sunday school. Okay? All you can do is encourage them. You can't make nobody do nothing. But you just encourage them to come. Amen? Amen. To God. God be the glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank you now for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you, God, for your word today. Thank you for loving us, oh God, in spite of who we are. Oh, God, thank you for your precious love. God, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus. And Jesus, we thank you for the blood that you shed on Calvary. We give you praise, the honor, and the glory. And then, Lord, we pray, God, that you continue to bless those sick and shut in. Oh, God, the bereaved families, not only this church, but churches everywhere. And, Lord, we pray, God, today that Pastor uh, Stringer will have a, 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 a good uh, pastoral anniversary. Pray, God, that he be blessed, him and his church family, oh, God. We give you praise, the honor, and the glory. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion, Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide be with you all henceforth and forever. Let us all say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Go in peace. I love you.